Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlogs. So today I think we're going to be mowing the rest of that field, tedding it, and potentially baling it. But first I'll go speak to Samuel. Looks like his worker brought the pickup truck back last night. Or this morning, I don't know. Just knock on his door here at once. Oh, good morning, Rusty. Good morning, Samuel. Oh, just call me Sam. No need to be all formal. Sam, yes, I keep forgetting. Well, what would you like me to do today? Finish mowing that field and then ted it? You took the words right out of my mouth. That would be excellent. All right. I'll go do that. So, as Samuel said, I'm going to go um, finish mowing the field and then ted it quick because it did drizzle a little bit this morning and potentially maybe this afternoon rake it and bale it but I don't know how, how well it's going to dry if we can do that today or not I'll just park the same place I did last time. That worked out pretty well. And let's go get the rest of the mowing done. I'm going to let this thing warm up for a bit. Oh, I must remember to speak to Samuel about fuel for that. I'll tell him about it at lunchtime. So, the tether doesn't appear to be over here. You might not have a tether, that could be an issue. Um, ah, yes, there it is. Boy, that's an awfully small tether. Yeah. Well, let's go get the mowing done. Get this gate opened up. go. That lowered down. send the drone up so that I can get some aerial footage again. That worked out pretty well last time. So, let's cut to that.
Alright, I got that job done. So now this tractor's just about out of fuel. I hope I have enough to get back to the shed. Um, I don't... I don't want to risk it trying to do the out... the perimeter... um... cut on the... on this tank of fuel. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough. So I'm going to go back and ask Samuel about fuel. And also if I can use his... I assume he has a bigger tether. I don't know. But I'm going to ask him if he has a bigger tether and if I can use it for tetting all this. Because that's going to take forever with that little thing. So I'll stick this in here. And actually... So let's get the PTO unhooked and get that unhooked. And I'm just going to drive back up to Samuel's house. So I forgot to put it in the last vlog, but Peter told me that his wife will supply uh, my lunch and supper, and I just need to supply my own breakfast. So that's nice of him. That was close. Maybe I should have stopped there before pulling out. Oh, is you done mowing already? I am, but the tractor I was using is about out of fuel. And there's no more fuel down there. Um, how should I go about fueling that back up? Oh, that's right. Jacob doesn't have a fuel tank. You might as well use my fint. If I recall... He has a mighty small tether, so you might as well use my tether also. Oh, well that's kind of you. If you go around the corner, then go straight. The tractor is in a shed to your right, and the tether is in the shed right behind it. Okay, well, thank you very much. I'll go get that done, and come back here in, um, what, an hour and a half for lunch? Sounds good. We are having pizza. Alright. Sounds good. So go around the corner and then go straight ahead and I'll see it. I'm not seeing it yet. Guess oh, there it is. Wow, that's a nice tractor.
very nice tractor. So I'll let that idle a little bit and find it while I find the tether. So he said the shed right behind it. So that would be this one. Ah, there it is. Wow, he's got some nice hay tools. What is it? A Deutz? Deutz Condi Master. Okay. Well, it's what? Three times bigger than Jacob's. So let's get this reversed back up to it. That should do. Get that hooked up. Get the PTO hooked up. There we go. And I'll head down to the fields to ted it. I wonder when he Samuel's going to mow his hay. I would imagine he has some. At least if he has... I think he has quite a few sheep and some cows. Because I saw the cows over here. No, I can't see them right now. there. A bunch of cows over here. And there's a sheep pasture right behind where I'm staying. Here we are. So, I think I'm going to do this field over here first. Because this is the one I mowed first. So it should dry out a little bit quicker. So I'll get the tether unfolded. Lower down. And we can commence on tedding. But I'm going to send the drone up. And then we can get an aerial view. Alright, I got everything tedded. It's a little bit after 12 o'clock, so hopefully I'm not too late for lunch. Um, yeah, looks really nice. I think we will be able to bail it today.
So I think I'll stick the tether back in the shed and then take the tractor over to the house. Just reverse that back in here. Get it lowered down. Yep, that looks good. And we can take the PTO shaft off. Unhook it. And head over to the house for some pizza. Actually, I should probably shut these doors because we won't be in here again today. Huh, looks like the mower's gone. Alright. Just park over here. Uh, yeah, that should work. Alright, I'll go for a bite to eat, and then I'll be right back. Alright, it's been about an hour. I had a delicious lunch. And Samuel has told me that I should take the, his rake and go down, and when it's dry, I should rake it. And then come back and get his round baler because he has other things for me to do and doesn't want me to spend all day picking up little square bales. So, gonna grab the rake and head down there. Of course, I shut these doors because I didn't think I was going to be in here again today. Yes, well. Alright. Looks like stuck behind the baler, so I might have to pull that out first. Alright, we'll get that hooked up. I don't need to hook up any hoses or anything, because I'm just pulling it out a little bit. So, I'm going to pull this out. Stick it over here. Yep, that should work. Get it unhooked. Now I can hook up to the rake. PTO shaft hooked up and all the hoses. Oh, he also told me that his other worker was mowing that field right beside of his house. So that's why the mower was missing.
I don't think it's dry just yet. Probably going to have to wait a little. It might be. Yeah, that feels dry there. Let's check it over here. Yep, that also feels pretty dry. I think it's ready. I'm gonna rake it up, and then we can go back and get the baler. So how does this rake work? I don't think I've ever used one like this before. So I think... I need to go around the field this way first. To rake it towards the middle. And we can get it started up. And commence raking. So as usual, send the drone up, get an aerial view. Oh, I forgot to mention, I finally figured out the following mode on my drone, so I'm going to see if I can have it follow me the whole way around the field. Alright, just finished raking. This field, anyway. So, now I'll go get the baler. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, so that was Samuel. And he said he just called Jacob, who owns these two fields and asked him if it was okay to round bail them and Jacob said he would like at least one of them square bailed so I'm gonna hook this tractor up to the baler and we'll do some bailing uh, where's a good place to put the rake maybe just in here uh, it's awfully tight That should do right there. Alright, now we can go hook up to the baler. I'm gonna go around the other side, it's too tight over there. Get that hooked up. Get the hoses hooked up. PTO shaft. That's an interesting baler. Oh, so it looks like that, hmm, I don't know, I'll get it out in the field and then I'll see how it works. Okay, so I've just figured out that that thing on top there goes over here, and then it looks like you can attach a trailer to it. Oh yeah, and this thing unfolds, and the bales come out and drop right onto the trailer. It is a really good idea. So, I'll, I think there's a trailer in here, so I'll grab that. And we can hook it up and see how it works. So I have to unhook this. Hook up to the trailer here.
Wow, this yard is tight. Okay, so I'll try and unhook it as close as possible. Get that unhooked. Then I can get that all hooked up again. And I'll try and get as close to the trailer as possible. Wow, that is not easy to do. There we go. So I'll run around here. Get that hooked up. And it looks like... They'll just drop right onto here. It's still gonna be a lot of hand stacking, but we'll see how it works. So, let's lower down the pickup. Turn it on. Yeah, you can see the bales coming out the chute there. Whoops, that one fell off. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of hand stacking. I'm going to go pick up the ones that fell off. Alright. So I think once I get enough bales that I can um, put a row on the side of the wagon that's closer to the baler. That'll help keep them from falling off the wagon. But until then, it looks like pretty much all of them are falling off. So, this is going to be fun. Now let's see how that works. There we go. It also helps if I'm going straight. When I'm going around corners like this, the trailer tends to kind of go away from the baler. Yeah. Okay, this is not working very well at all. I think it might actually be better just to unhook the trailer and let all the bales fall out onto the ground and then come pick them up later. So, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm almost done. I just have this bit here to do yet, then i got to pick up all the bales. Alright, 
I got the baling done, and I just parked the baler back in the shed and got it unhooked. Well, I'm almost done. That was quite tiring, as especially here at the end where I have to throw them over my head. And <laughs> sometimes they fall off when I stop. So then it takes even longer. Well, that's not a very good stacking job, but hopefully they all stay on there until I get in the shed. Ah! Alright, that should do. Get it unhooked. Looks like one fell off under the trailer. How did it get there? Did it fall off while I was backing in and then I drove over it? Yeah, I can't quite reach it. I'll have to get it out when we pull the trailer out again. So there's one that fell off in the field here. Gonna pick up. And thankfully, that's all the square bailing, the, well, small square bailing anyway that we're doing. The other field is going to get round bailed. So I'll throw that one up on top. And go get the round baler. This yarn is very tight. Oh. What's up with this? Oh, Samuel brought the round baler. Guess like that doesn't have a door on that side. I didn't have anything else to do at the moment. So, I brought the bell down for you. I figured you could bail while I reek. Okay, should I get the reek hooked up for you? That would be great. Oh, and I don't think it's quite dry yet. That's okay. We can wait. It can't take more than an hour or so to finish drawing. Alright.
All right, so I'll get this hooked up for Samuel. PTO shaft and the hose is plugged in, and that should be good to go. So now I guess we just wait. Okay, so it's just finished drying. It's dry enough to start baling, and Samuel's going to rake while I'm baling, and then he's going to go grab his telehandler, and we can stack the bales in the shed. So I'll just check the baler quick. Looks like we got plenty of net wrap. Everything's hooked up. Yep, looks good. Alright. Okay, he's just finished the first round, so I'll start bailing. So I'll get this pickup lowered down, turn the baler on. All right, there's the first bale. Alright, we're just about done. Samuel's going to take the rake back up to the farm. Just gonna pick up some of the stuff that I missed.
Got that shut off. Should be good. This is a nice tractor. Okay, I'm gonna put this here, so he can put it away then, and I'll get the telehandler and pick up the bales. So while we were waiting, he told me that the telehandler is just over this wall here in a shed right past the silage pits. So yep, looks like that's it. Get this opened up. There we go. Wow. What happened to all that paint? Was it like... Yeah. Anyway. Alright, I'll get this started up. And go pick up the bales. That's interesting. What's this over here? Ah! Is this a quicker way to get down there? There's the field that Samuel's other worker mowed earlier today. Then this spits me, me back out onto the main road. So I'm going to try to take two at a time. Now I can spear the next bale. Now 
missed it. Wow, that other fork is hard to see. There we go. think I can just stack them. Well, right where the tractor is. So I'm going to move the tractor and then stack them in there. Alright, I got that hooked up. Now I'm going to pull it out so I can get the bales in. And then I'll put this tractor back in again. Okay, so maybe if I put the tractor in this way, instead of straight front and back, I can get it in. That lifted up. Quite like that. That should work. That lowered down. Shut it off. All right. The gate's shut. Latched. Now I can head back up. See what it was Samuel had for me to do. I think I'm going to use the. I think I'm going to use the shortcut. I quite like that.
put this away. All right, well, I quite like that telehandler. That worked really well. This door shut here. There we go. finished stocking the bales yep thankfully everything fit in the shed oh what was the other job you had for me to do oh I was going to have you feed my cows but I got Paul my other worker to do it okay uh, what should I do next how about you take the rest of the evening off? Tomorrow, we start harvesting the canola and wheat. Well, that sounds exciting. Okay, see you tomorrow then, Sam. Huh, that sounds exciting. I'm gonna start harvesting his canola and wheat fields tomorrow. So, I'll wrap the vlog up for now because it's getting a bit long um i'm think i'm going to go into town to get some groceries but i'm not going to include that so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in the next one bye